In this video, we're going to explore the Sense view. And to get there, you can click on Sense, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Command 4 or Control 4 on a PC. And this will display a small fader. The small fader can represent AUX1, AUX2, Headphone Send, or Line 3 and 4. For this tutorial, we're going to use AUX1. So let's say that you're in a situation where you want to add a little bit of reverb or echo to your voice so that when you're singing, it feels like you're singing in the shower. However, you don't want to record this reverb into your DAW. You want to just hear it on your headphones, but you want to record your voice dry. Or you want to record your voice through this channel strip and these plugins, but you don't want to record the reverb. So this is currently set to UAD record, which is fine. But now we're going to explore the sense. So auxiliary one corresponds to auxiliary one here. This is the return for auxiliary one. And this is where we're going to apply the reverb. We're going to go to inserts, choose reverb and select real verb pro. Real verb pro comes with a ton of presets. You can toggle through them here. Let's choose this artist preset and choose verb. If you're using a reverb on an auxiliary, you want to make sure the wet is set 100%. So just click on this radio button and you'll be good. Okay, so our reverb insert is there. The auxiliary return is turned up all the way. And now we're going to feed our vocal to the reverb. And then when we turn it down, our voice is dry again. Let's do the same, but this time with echo. So we're going to go to auxiliary two. We're going to choose the EP 34. Again, we're going to go to presets. And let's try this dub professor. In order to see our small fader going to auxiliary two, we're going to click show aux two and then crank this up. Pretty cool, huh? All right, let's go back to Aux One. Let's say that we wanted to combine those effects. So we can very easily click and drag Real Verb Pro on Insert 2 and put the tape echo on Insert 1. Now, before I move on further, I want to turn down the repeats. And both these plugins are living on Aux One. So we'll go to Aux One and crank the small fader up. So by taking advantage of using the Aux Send and Return on the console software, we are able to feed effects to our mix without recording those effects in our DAW. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up a headphone mix.